Over the years, Phytech has come out with multiple handhelds and multiple ECUs. Today we're going to show you how to update not only the handheld, but the ECU to the latest version of software. Over the years, Phytech has released four versions of our handheld. As you can see, we have a bunch of different versions, and there's different ways to identify each one. This is important because when we send you software, the software is going to be for each individual handheld and the ECU that you have. So as you can see, the two older style ones, I have triangles around the joystick or nothing around the joystick. That's the way to identify the old style handheld. And on the newer style, on the right edge, we may have two dots. The two dots will signify the latest version of handheld that we have. And with that information, we can send you the latest version of software. The importance of identifying the proper handheld is so we can send you the proper software. If you load the wrong software into the wrong handheld, you can permanently damage the handheld that we can't do anything about and you'll have to buy a replacement. It's not always necessary to update the software in your system, but if you're looking for the latest features like our current T210 version, which will give you ethanol content input so you can run E85 and switch back to gasoline, it may be a feature that you want to upgrade for. Also, if you're upgrading to the new style ECU that we have, with a relay box and fuses all in one contained unit, that would be another reason to do a software update. I really want to emphasize that if you load the wrong software into the handheld, you brick the handheld, meaning the screen turns black and it's dead, never coming back. And unfortunately, that's something that we can't cover under warranty, not even our three-year warranty, which is an industry-leading warranty. Once you have successfully identified your handheld, next you're going to have to call a Phytech representative and let them know which system you have and which handheld you have, and they'll be able to provide you the proper software. Now that we received our software update from TechMail, we can see that we have instructions on how to do the update, but we also have the Dropbox link here. This directs us straight to the software where we'll get a download option. We'll select download and the computer will download our file. At this point, once the download is complete, we can drag and drop our software straight to our main desktop page. Now that we have our software, we can double click and open it with a file extractor. This is WinRAR, W-I-N-R-A-R. There will be a link in the video, but we'll have an option for our software. Again, I can left click drag and drop this file and it will drop onto our main desktop and I could then double click and open it. This is the file that we're going to replace with what's on the handheld. Now that we have the software onto our computer, we're going to plug in our handhelds. We have the old style handheld and the newer type handheld here together and we're going to show you how to make them connect to the computer. We're going to start by plugging them in. The new style handheld, you have to navigate down to a menu at the bottom of the main menu called Handheld Software Mode Selection. Once we open that, the screens will look basically the same. We're going to want to then select Open USB Mass Storage. At that point, the screen will say USB Storage Mode and will connect to your computer. From there, we'll be able to transfer the software that we emailed to you onto the handheld. When the handheld connects, it should automatically open the file drive. If it doesn't automatically open, you can use your file explorer to find the drive itself marked as USB drive. In the older style handheld, the files will be listed in a long form. We're going to start by selecting all these files, right clicking and deleting. Once the files are deleted, we're going to select the files from our software that we received, select them all, drag and drop straight to the handheld drive. Now that our handheld files have been transferred, we are ready to finish at the handheld. We are done at the computer. 
Now that we have our handhelds loaded with the new software, it's time to reboot the handhelds. To do so, the old style handheld will just start by unplugging and plugging back in. The newer type handheld, we're going to push the OK button. Now this is where things get a little bit different. On the old style handheld, we have the joystick that we can scroll down with. We're going to select down, but hold that button for about five seconds until the hands, handheld says flash erase, and it will start reloading. On the new type handheld, we got to go into display setup and find the option called handheld software reboot. We're going to click right so it says show and then go back to the main menu. From the main menu, we're going to scroll down and find handheld software reboot. We're going to open into that, select the file that we just got, hit OK, and confirm that we want to do the update. From that point, the handheld will go through the reboot. Once we get back to the main screen, the update is finished. We are now ready to take the handheld and plug it back into the vehicle. Now that we've successfully identified our handheld, our EFI system and got the latest software loaded in, we're ready to drive the vehicle again. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to comment and subscribe. Ways to contact our tech team? Call 951-340-2624, extension 2. Or email us at techmail at fitechefi.com.